The first time Governor Kawira Mwangaza was successfully impeached, then CS of Trade Moses Korea decided that that was the best time to open an industrial business park in Meru. A move which bothered Mithika Linturi so much that he publicly asked Moses Korea on Twitter to postpone the Meru Industrial Business Park launch because of the ongoing impeachment of Kawira. He did not want any government official to be seen with Kawira because it might mislead some senators into voting for Kawira because they think that the official position of the government is that she should stay in office. So that was the first time. The second time Kawira got impeached, CS Moses Kuria took to Twitter to express his concern over the fact that most gubernatorial impeachments come from Lima, Kenya and nowhere else. And based on the metrics that he displayed, he did have a point. Two out of every three gubernatorial impeachments come from Lima, Kenya. Now this time around, there could be another impeachment on the way. What's this impeachment about? It's about the murder of the Meru blogger Sniper. This blogger's eyes were removed, his tongue was cut, and his body was dipped into acid so that he could not be recognizable even to his family members. And we know this was a local murder because the body was found right there in Meru County. And prior to Sniper's death, according to his wife, he was told that the governor wanted to meet him for a truce. So that's why Kawira is a suspect. And this time around, CS Moses Kuria is at it again. In the middle of this entire storm, CS Kuria has organized a Moses Kuria tournament in Meru County where the winner will take home 5 million shillings. Now the problem is that the match is facing backlash from local politicians because they are noticing that anytime there is trouble facing Kawira Mwangaza, Moses Kuria always finds a way to get involved in the situation. Because why host a tournament in Meru County? When he's not even from Meru, he's a former MP of Gatundu South. He can go and do it there, but he's choosing to do it in Meru. That's why they are reading it as political. Now, in this video, I want us to look into why CS Moses Kure is hosting his cup in Meru when he's not even from the region. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now the first reason for Moses Kuria involving himself in Meru in this tournament of his, despite the ongoing turmoil of the governor, is to get back at Mythika Linturi. Moses Kuria have noticed his political style. He is someone who will double down and triple down on whatever standpoint he believes is right. If he defended Kawira the last time and got reshuffled for it after Linturi warned him not to go there, this time around he is willing to do it again. And he knows for a fact that this time around it's going to be very hard to reshuffle him. Because for one, he's toned down the rhetoric. He's not in a docket where he's constantly in the limelight as was the case when he was the CS of trade. Again, the president cannot move him twice. You know, that's going to look like total disrespect and Mythical Intrigue does not hold that kind of sway to that point. If he was able to get him moved the first time, he can't go the second time to Rigadi Gashago, the president, to say, hey, look at what he's doing again. Can we have him moved once more? That cannot happen and Moses Kuria knows it and he's basically going to paddle his way into the Meru politics and rescue the governor once more. Because believe you me, this tournament, the guest of honor is going to be the governor. And such a tournament is going to be done in a stadium with lots and lots of people. And as the governor is walking in, flanked by the CS, there's going to be a lot of praise for her. And it's going to really disenfranchise what some of the leaders in Meru are trying to do, which is basically to send home Kawira under any possible means. Although personally, this time around, I would like to lord the leaders in uh, Meru because the way they have behaved is commendable. The governor is a suspect. She is not a convict. We can neither defend her or acquit her. The only thing people can do is be indifferent. We give the DCI time to do his investigations. If he finds anything suggesting that the governor was involved, then we immediately embark on the impeachment and uh, the Senate will definitely not tolerate such kind of uh, murders. These are things of the past, things of SSU and Rivayala. And also if the governor is acquitted, there are people who might find themselves in court because of the way they've been talking about her. Just listening to Macarena, the way he's talking towards judges, calling them corrupt because they're releasing the boys who were arrested and so on and so forth. Just have a look at this before we get back to the Moses Korea issue. Oma Junior na hitwa Mike Makarena. Watu wengi watafikiri ni mela yangu nimekula. Lakini nataka kupea wa Meru information na wa Kenya. Nataka kuambia DCI, nataka kuambia Kome, nataka kuambia vitengo yote ile inajua mimi najua maneno. Kutoka njuzi tuko na tuko na uzaindi ya kujua Eh, Kaluma Kaluma ni MP wa ONDM na hata mimi ni mtu wa azimio na ni wa ONDM Kaluma bibi yake ndio Manchester City hapa Kiambu na Kaluma ndiye anapokea pesa Meru za kukuja kutoa wale watu waliua sniper 
Kwa hivyo nataka kuambia serikali yetu ya ndizi yae. Nataka kuambia kindiki. Huyu MP amezunguka Meru na Mbaimande. Wale vijana wote walizikwa wataajiliwa na Mbondi. Lakini nataka kuambia Kaluma. Mukienda hiyo pesa unazunguka ukichukua Meru ukiajilia wale waliua sniper. Tutakuletea wao Mbondo. Na hapo na support president. Kuna mamanje street wanakula pesa. Na hawa watu wakiajiliwa. Atatuambia kama koti ya kibera si kibera. Si koti ya hikuwa na manje street. Ama ya kambu ndiyo tu hikuwa na manje street. Kwa sababu wanako ni, ni, ni MP. Orende pesa imepeano. Na tuko na heaven race. Tuko na picha. Tunataka waajiliwa hivi. Tukulete wao mbondo. Lakini nataka kuambia. Ukiajiliwa mtu hameuwe huyo mtoto. Mukifikiria mnampea mbondi wakuja watuzumbue meru. Tutapambana na wae kaluma. Na nimeambia ndizi yae wachunguze na wajue. Kaluma amekuwa meru, kazi yake ilikuwa kuchukua pesa na bibi yake ndio Manchester City Kiambu. Kwa hivyo hakuna kesi kwa hapo. Yule tunaamini ni yule ya Kokebera alisema 21 days uchunguzi ise ndio yule mtoto apate haki yake. Na kama hakuna haki meru, wallahi nawaambia mtaamini wa meru si mera peke yake. Tuko na akili timamu. Lakini Kaluma usijione mwerefu ndio ulikuwa unaona mama anaongea na kifuri juu yako. Wao umepokea pesa na tunajua. Sisi TV zimekuona na watu wangu wanajua na mimi naongeanga kama mwanaume nikiwa na ukweli. Wewe mama wa Kiambu, wajili hao watu utatuambia kama wewe peke yako ndio Manchester Street. Asanteni wa Kenya, tukae pamoja muuaji apate haki ya wauaji. Kama uliua upate msara yako. Kama hukuwa uachiliwe. Lakini si kutolewa tumbondi ya zilizili hapa njoo bwana yako ni MP. Kwenda huko. Now the second reason why Moses Kure is coming to the rescue of Kawira Mwangaza goes back to the English proverb that birds of a feather flock together. Kawira is one individual who everyone wants removed from office. When I say everyone, I mean everyone in Meru, especially the political class. Moses Kure again is just like Kawira Mwangaza except he's in the cabinet. Most of his peers want him gone. Even the deputy president, I'm not too sure about his support of Moses Kure. It looks a bit shaky. Again, when you look at the last public holiday we had when the president was handing out the EGH, the MBS, all these accolades. Moses Kuria was the only cabinet secretary not to be awarded anything. Everyone else, including Miano, who I believe is not a good performer, even Chirchir, who had given us four nationwide blackouts in a single year, all those people were awarded except Moses Kuria. So he has been singled out in government and he's looking at this governor and seeing that this governor is also being singled out. So why don't I just help her? We're in the same boat. If I help her today, she survives. When they're putting my head on the pike, she might help me to survive. So it's a convenient situation whereby birds of a feather tend to flock together. And I believe Moses Kuria does see and understand the turmoil that the governor is going through because he himself is traversing through the same high waters. Now my personal belief is that this tournament will not take off there is so much political involvement in this matter i do not see any of the leaders allowing it to take off there will be a lot of sabotage locally but on the side of the locals this is very welcome How, who else is going to bring about five million for the footballers in meru to walk home with so i think what moses kuri is a good idea but the timing is the reason why it's going to face a lot of infighting but either way just listening to some of these uh, youths who are looking forward to that money remember getting a job at this point is really difficult if football can put something in your pockets it's something they'd appreciate roll the tip Nataka kuambia sports na politics ni kama stima na maji. Hizo vitu mbili asipatani. Na kwa hivyo kwa sports wanasiasa wetu tunawapenda lakini amta tupanga. Hii nayo amta tupanga. Hatuwezi kubadi hiyo. Kitu ya kwanza nyinyi mnapinga tournament ya CS Kuria. Tournament ya CS Kuria iko na 5 million yenye itabaki meru kwa vijana. Lakini nyinyi hata mjeitoa tournament ya 1200 vijana wa chese. 1 2 3 hatutaki siasa tunataka tournament. Hatutaki siasa tunataka tournament ya nani? Moses Kuria. Moses Kuria. Moses Kuria.
Now do let me know in the comment section below why you think Moses Kuria is uh, doing a tournament in Meru County when he's not even from Meru County and he's done no tournaments in Gatundu South where he's the immediate former member of parliament. That much I'll be looking forward to reading and I'll do my best to give you a response. In the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.